So I got all my components soldered on, uh, my little AT tiny uh, saber board, and you can see there's the AT tiny chip right there, and there's our WT588D. And I actually I found this great uh, prototyping strip board um, that has I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. Oh, there we go. It has a couple bus. Uh, traces going right down the middle so I can use that as a positive and negative rail and then just you know solder to it for power for all the ICs that that was nice uh, help make it go a little bit faster you know it's kind of big kind of bulky but prototype boards often are um, and I gave myself a little extra room because I I kind of made it up as I went along our LED modules uh, wired to it to an appropriate resistor and here's the uh, uh, the MOSFET, and there's the uh, AT Tiny chips right there, and there's our uh, WT588D and the voltage regulator I was able to put underneath because I found this great prototyping board. Uh, this stuff's pretty cool. I like this stuff. I bought a brick sheet of it and just cut a piece out for this, so I can make a bunch more with that sheet. So that's how the board came out. Um, next thing to do is throw it in a saber and. Uh, See how it works. Um, these right here are the uh, the. You can't see it because it's wrapped in tape, but there's a swinging clash sensor in there. Good old, good old school swinging clash sensor. Let's see, we got some PVC pipe here. I think I'll put it in the PVC saber. All right. Thanks for watching.